Welcome back to another vlog. So this morning I am up pretty early. I got Nathan off on the bus. Well, no, I didn't get him off on the bus. Tried to get him off on the bus and we've been having so many issues with transportation. It's like every morning I get a call from the transportation department saying that she's called in sick or that she's gonna be late or like the other day she fell back asleep. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. So I was about to get the twins up and load everybody up. And my grandma was like, no, I can do it. I'm already awake. And I was like, okay. So she got him off to school, which is good. But I'm just, I'm so over the whole transportation system. And I know I'm not the only parent who's frustrated. Like, this isn't fair, you know. I understand they have a shortage of drivers and whatever else. But his bus driver is just it's not that she's you know not available she's just calling off last minute and it sounds like for dumb reasons like oh you fell back asleep well you can't do that when you have a job that involves transporting children to school like that's a really important job that you need to be more on top of because you have a lot of angry parents right now like me so that just kind of started my day off a little funky um but Today is going to be kind of eventful, not really. Um, I've been making these little signs. I'm going to show you guys. I've been making these signs for people because I'm in this group. Um, I'm in this group and I'm doing a project for my husband for Valentine's Day. And I actually reached out to some ladies in my mom's group. I found this idea online. It, it's like you can take a sign from different places around the world like you can have people make signs for you saying like um so and so uh loves you so much that their love has reached whatever city and state and you can have like them take a picture with like their state in the background and it's really really cool and one of the girls made a sign for me but she was like did you know they actually have a group for this online she was like, it has like 90,000 members from all over the world, like all over the world. And she's like, you can go on there and post what you want your sign to say and you can trade signs with people. So that's what I did. And so far I've had a girl from Argentina. Um, I made her a sign. She's going to make me a sign. Um, I have this girl from, I think, Tennessee or North Carolina. I can't remember. I made her a sign. Um, this lady, I made her two signs. She's going to make me two signs from two different states. And this girl, I forgot where she's from. And then this one is going to be, um, from Chicago in front of the big building that has the words Chicago on it. And I'm going to get her a picture in front of, um, Notre Dame where like the touchdown Jesus and the golden dome is actually, that's where I'm going to take all of these today. We're going to drive, over by Notre Dame and see if I can get some good pictures in front of Notre Dame um, for these people and then get these sent out and then hopefully they will trade me back um, whatever signs they've worked on. believe that the boys are still sleeping um we put up well we took down the cribs and we put up one of the beds so excuse the messy room this is one of the um what is this one of the frames here and um the other uh frame and mattress everything is set up in the bedroom we put the bedding on it and we found out, because I spent like $100 on two sets of um, Marvel Avengers themed bedding for them. It came with a comforter, a pillowcase, and no sheets. And I spent like 40 something dollars a piece and then plus shipping. 
so I'm not happy about that. Um, definitely spent way too much money. He's gonna go after work today and just pick out some like plain red or plain blue sheets for them so we can get their beds like officially made up. But they slept in the same bed last night and they're still sleeping. Um, I can't hardly believe it because it's like, it's almost nine o'clock and I've just been buzzing around the house, cleaning and straightening up and doing things that I usually don't get done this early. So it's kind of weird. Um, I wanted to show you guys what I got from Amazon though. I actually got three things from Amazon yesterday. Um, one of them being the little bumper rails for their beds. Uh, the brand is called Hiccupop. So I will link those down below. I'll show you guys when they get up. But they're asleep right now and I don't feel like waking them up just yet. I'm gonna let them, I'm gonna give them another 30 or so minutes. If they're not up, then I'll go wake them up. The other things that I ordered were these Anga Soft workout leggings. I got olive green and then I got this really pretty like maroon color. Super cheap, they were like $13. Um, they had different styles that I think were more expensive and like different colors because I really wanted the like lavender lilac one, but it was 16 and I was just getting two pairs because I wanted to qualify for the free shipping. So that's why I got two pairs of the cheaper ones. I kind of want to try them on really quick for you guys and show you how they look. Okay, excuse my mom bod. Still working on it, um, but these are the leggings first impression is wow they are super super soft um they have a nice control top i like how it really kind of just like keeps everything in um the back looks pretty good as well and then i'll show you guys like lengthwise they're not too bad either i'm very very short i am five one so they do have a little bit of scrunching at the bottom, but it is not terrible. I think I'm gonna wear these today. I really, really like these. So if you guys want, I will link these down below, but they are called Anga Soft, and you can find these on Amazon. Oh, I finally my got man. myself dressed, and I got breakfast going for them. Whew, so now I can show you. Um, this is <laughs> one of the beds that's put up. Uh, we kind of just threw everything up here. Bedding is under here. These are the Hiccupop sleep bumpers that I was talking about. And I will link these down below for you guys as well. My husband knows um, how like stressed and burnout I've felt lately. And th over the weekend, he was like, I really need to go to the store before you go to work. And I was like, oh, okay. I assumed he had to get like diapers or something. Um, instead, he came home, this little box of chocolate, this um, sweet like special no. thanks card. And then I don't know if you guys can see them, but he brought me these super pretty uh, buds. They're starting to open up a little bit. They're like white roses with like pink, pink tips. They're so, so pretty. Can't even tell you guys. This is why I got a special thanks because I deal with this all day long. But yeah, it was really sweet. It made my day. Um, it's just like the small things that people do that can just really make you feel appreciated. Because I am stressed out with them all the time and I do feel like I'm run ragged. And they do cry constantly. Any other twin parents that are watching this, um, I'm sure you can relate. So we are coming up to Notre Dame here, up here. I just don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like get in super close to take good pictures. Cause I don't know if like students have school or I don't know what's going on with COVID, like what their procedures are. So I guess we will figure it out um, <laughs> the closer we get. I do see the Golden Dome over there. That's kind of where I wanted to go because one of the girls specifically requested pictures with that so I'm gonna try to get as close as possible okay so I did my little signage project I parked in 
non-permitted parking, um, but we were here for just a second. I actually ended up getting out so I could get pictures of Touchdown Jesus. I was gonna do the Golden Dome, but it's so hard to get over there. We would have to walk on foot and it's like way too cold. But I'll show you guys what I took a picture of. So that's Touchdown Jesus right there and I got some really cute pictures right in front of it. So yeah, I think they will love them. Um, I've sent them out and I'm just waiting for them to send me theirs so I can continue putting together my husband's Valentine's Day gift. It is almost two. Yeah, it's almost two. We just made it home. Um, we actually ended up stopping at my grandma's and hanging out over there for quite some time. But we are back now and the kids are eating a snack. Um, I'm trying to thaw out this chicken. I put the whole pack in the freezer instead of breaking it up into like three bags. Stop screaming, Ezra, please. Sit down, Elijah. Okay, I got you. Um, but yeah, so I forgot to break that up. But I am making this uh, Cajun chicken over Spanish rice. It's gonna be so good. I found it on Pinterest and it just looks really good. And it's something different because I always make the same things. So I will try to get a little footage of me cooking later on and I will be sure to link that down below if you guys would like to try it for yourself. On the menu today is toast, blueberries, cut up a banana, and these little cohorts. We finally did away with the little high chairs. So they officially eat at the table like big boys. You're not done with that. Look at all that yogurt you have in the bottom. He is like demolishing it. But yeah, they all sit at the table now, like three grown men. <laughs> Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna have for breakfast. I gotta hurry because I had a uh, conference call with a speech therapist in like literally six minutes. That was the most stressful call ever because the boys got into the crib pieces that we have yet to drag out to the street and we're fighting with them. And I kept having to mute myself while she was talking so she wouldn't hear them screaming. But then when it was my turn to respond, I had to unmute and she caught bits of them screaming. I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And she's like, it's okay. <laughs> like she gets it, you know, three kids. I forgot to show you guys um, dinner, but it turned out so, so, so good. Yum, yum, yum. Keto friendly too. So I'm definitely gonna link that for you guys. But right now, we are watching Toy Story as we're still there. And my husband ran out to the store. He had to buy sheets for their beds, which I'll show you guys. He put up both the beds, so they're actually gonna sleep in their big boy beds tonight, which is very exciting. I'm gonna show you guys. We have like tons of boxes and stuff right there. And there go the cribs. They're down. They're gone. And ta-da! Both beds are up. <laughs> he threw the potty seats up there. And then here is the Hiccupop uh, bed bumpers, the sleep bumpers that I was talking about. Super nice. Thick. Um, they sit up pretty high, too. And then they just go across one side. Uh, the box is a two-pack, so you get two in the box. And I think, I'm trying to remember the price. Oh gosh, I can't remember the price, but when I link them down below, you guys will see. But yeah, they're relatively affordable. They're nice. Their Avengers bedding is over there. And I put a bunch of like Avengers themed um, wall decor and like a new lamp and stuff in my Amazon cart because I want to like redo their room. 
my husband was like, well, don't go too crazy because, you know, we're going to be moving in a few months. And I was like, yeah, you're right. So I didn't put a lot in the cart, but I put like some things just because I want their room to look not so bare. Their walls have like nothing on it right now because I took down, I took down all like the baby monkey things that I bought when we first moved here. Kind of made me sad to take it down because it's like, <sighs> they're not babies anymore. They're big boys and they need a different theme to fit that. So. Okay, okay, okay. I was showing you right in it. Okay, yeah, I'm going to show you right in it. No. Nate. There's no bows in here. I know, but that's not nice. Is that No, Nate. It is that right. They're wearing these champion sweatshirts that my mom bought them. I think these are so cute. They're navy and white. Um, Nathan has a champion hoodie. His is like gray with the navy writing on it. What you doing? Are you gonna finish your fruit? Are you do you not do you not want it? Are you done with it? No. You okay? You're done. All right, I'll throw it away then. Waster. No, you eat. I'm not eating it. I'm gonna show you guys really quick. Turn that off. Okay. There's a Spanish rice. Well, actually, it's Mexican rice that I bought. And I put some Mexican cheese over it. I buy this a lot. And then there's the chicken with the peppers. You put the peppers on the bottom, and then after everything's cooked and taken out of the oven, you flip the peppers on top of it to kind of like garnish. You can also sprinkle some like fresh thyme or whatever. I think that's what they had in the picture. Or maybe parsley, I don't know. Something, it was like bright green. It might have been cilantro, who knows. But I didn't sprinkle anything pretty on it, so it doesn't look that good. But oh my gosh, this tastes super good. My husband really liked it too. So I think this will go in the rotation. Good morning, you guys. It is Wednesday, the next day. Um, I kind of forgot to finish vlogging yesterday, but it is super early. It is only 6.48 in the morning. I'm drinking a Bolt House drink. Um, I'm just waiting for the kids to get up. If they don't get up by like 7.15ish, I'll probably wake them up because today I have my hair appointment. Um, I had to reschedule it. I was supposed to get a silk press like a week or two ago and I had to reschedule it. Um, I was glad that I was able to reschedule it like so soon to where I wouldn't have to like wait forever to get it done. Um, but I'm not doing like the color. I told you guys I wanted to do like some caramel like have my natural at the roots because it's very dark brown and then have like um, caramel blending into like straight up blonde on the ends. Um, but she said her color process takes several hours, especially when she's working with very uh, dry, like coarse hair like mine. So definitely um, didn't want to be there all day. So I just scheduled like the regular appointment to get my hair um, washed and trimmed and straightened and all that. Um, so that should take like two, two, three hours tops. And I'm gonna take them to my mother-in-law's while I get that done. This is like a next level form of self-care for me because I've been wanting to get my hair done since it like got like longer. It's like been about a year now since I've wanted to like get it professionally done and trimmed because I do have some breakage going on uh, just because I cut it myself. So, and I didn't, I didn't cut it properly. So it's uneven and it's very dry and yeah, I just need it like professionally done. So the hairdresser just sent me a text and asked me if I could be there at 9.30 instead of nine. It's only 8.12 and my mother-in-law lives like literally five minutes from our house. So I, I guess I'm gonna 
grab some coffee. I wasn't going to, but I guess I'm gonna get some coffee and then take them to her house. Cause I don't know what else to do, you know, to kill time. They're already in the car, we're already out. So I'll just shoot her a text and say that I'm probably gonna bring them closer to 8.45. done um wow it looks good I feel good I haven't had my hair professionally done in some years people some years I just ah oh, do you guys like it I hope you guys like it it's a lot longer in the back than in the front she said but that's because I cut my hair myself and I kind of knew it was like shorter um, in like the middle, like the top, the crown, whatever you call it. Um, but it's very long in the front and it's very long in the back. So she put some layers in to kind of um, mask how like different in contrast, like of length it is in the middle. And I love it. it. I think it's so cute. I'm so happy. I haven't, I haven't had my hair straightened in so long. It's like weird. I'm really happy about how long the front of my hair is because I used to have very short hair in the front. Actually, part of the reason I cut it off is because my breakage was so bad in the front. I had like, like my bangs were like here. I had no bangs and look at all this. I have all of this now that I've grown over the last three years. So I'm proud. Um, I'm gonna go pick up the boys now. I just told my mother-in-law I was on the way and I'm about to video chat my grandma and shower my hair because I'm in such a good mood. We are home now. Um, I spent a little time at my mother-in-law's house talking to her and my sister-in-law uh, because her 50th birthday party is next weekend and I took the whole weekend off. Um, we're going to be going out of town and just celebrating her birthday and I think we're staying overnight either at um, my husband's family member's house who's like hosting this party for her or we're gonna be staying in a hotel I'm not sure yet but it should be fun I haven't taken a vacation in a while um, since Thanksgiving I think so this will be nice to have a little uh, week like not a week off of work but like a whole weekend off of work um, I don't know when I'm gonna get this again so I'm just gonna enjoy it um, I'm in such a good mood now because my hair is done. I don't even care if the house isn't super clean because, like, I got my hair done. That's, like, what I've been wanting for the last year and a half. So I finally accomplished something that's been on my to-do list forever and ever and ever. But I really do need to get cleaning. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to attempt to get the boys laid down. But they really, really don't like to take naps in the big boy beds. They'll sleep in the big boy beds fine, but they don't like to take naps. So, we will see. Good morning slash afternoon, everybody. We are in the process of leaving, which I usually don't film when I'm trying to get outside. Hold on, Ezra. What? Or just completely ignore me. Um, Nathan has an appointment, or one of his last appointments today with behavioral services. I have to turn in his teacher evaluations so we can kind of um, narrow down a diagnosis for him. So this is kind of an important day. Move, Ezra. You're like super in the way. You're not going outside right now. I have to start the car. It's too cold. It's too cold with your dirty face. Good Lord. So I'm, try I'm try attempting to get out the door right now by myself because I know these little monsters are like ready to go as soon as I told them they were going to their Nana's house they're like ah so trying to put my shoes on no don't shut the door I have to go out there it is so cold out here Ooh. at least the sun is out that is a plus what happened in the two seconds that I went outside? What? 
Does someone hit you? Well, your brother shouldn't have that anyway, so I'm gonna have to take it out of his hand. So Elijah just had a major tumble outside. I was trying to get everybody out the door and he was like right, he was like leaned up against the door and he was in like hitting the door because he was in a bad mood. Yeah, so as soon as I opened it, of course he fell right out. So, yeah. He sure did cry. So yeah, our day is starting off great. Well, actually, our morning started off pretty good. Yeah. I got the kids fed. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan, my little background commentary. Um, but yeah, I got the kids fed and that was no problem and like everything was good. So this day has just been crazy already. Um, but we're gonna take the papers to behavioral services for his like complete eval. And then we also have to do um, a curbside pickup for Carter's, I think. My grandma ordered Nathan some more clothes. I think it's just Nathan that she ordered stuff for. So we gotta go pick that up. And I think that's it as far as running around goes today. Yeah. I wanna make this um, strip steak and garlic seared potato thing for dinner tonight. So I gotta take the steak out. My little potatoes are growing like eyes, so I need to cook those, like, today. <laughs> I see you. Hello, Ma. Hello. <laughs> You're goofy, uh. dude. It's so nice out here. <laughs> okay, so we just did the curbside pickup. I feel stupid because... I was going based off of the screenshot she sent me with the order number, and it said Christine, but apparently it was under my name. Hold on, Nate. It was under my name. So there was a whole like mix up, and I, he was like, I don't have any items for blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, she's the one that ordered it, not me. He's like, wait, is your name Elena Reed? And I was like, yes. He's like, oh, well, it's under your name. I'm like, of course. Of course she did that. But, yep, we got our package right there. Nathan's got some new shirts. And now we're going to go um, pick up some coffee. And then I have one more sign to do for my little sign project. So I'm going to get a good picture for this guy because he lives in Brazil. And he did a beautiful picture for me. So I have to get, like, a really nice picture for him. I ended up getting Nathan a pink drink. I'm going to show him your drink got him a little pink drink and I got it without the strawberries because I feel like it just takes up so much room in the cup that you don't really get any of the drink so going forward I will probably not get the strawberries in my pink drinks and then I got my usual uh, caramelized macchiato two pumps of raspberry yum 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 so we got our little treat and now I'm gonna go pick up his brothers and go home and do whatever else I need to do because I'm sure there's something that needs to be done. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> right now. And I'm still working on my coffee. It is after 2 o'clock. Um, my husband gets here at, well, he gets off at 3, so he'll be here in like an hour. Um, I've got my little strip steaks out on the counter, and they are thawing out for dinner. I'm actually really excited for dinner. I hope it tastes good. I've been kind of like craving steak and potatoes, so hope it turns out good. I've done some cleaning, not a lot. Honestly, this past week I've been slacking with the cleaning, but I've been kind of telling myself I don't have to have the house spotless every single day. I get, that's usually the mindset I have when I get up. I was like, okay, how can I make my day as productive and like, you know, good as possible? Some days you just have to, you know, clean one room and then take a break or, I don't know, get out of the house for an hour and then come back and clean. Like, you don't always have to spend your whole day cleaning because I think that's one of the reasons I've been getting stressed out and my husband pointed that out. He's like, it's okay, like, if the house isn't spotless. He's like, you work super hard. He's like, you have a job as well. So. Oh, you're done with your bowl. Ezra's been so emotional today. I don't, I don't know what's going on with him. He's just been 
You've had a rough day, haven't you? Here, come here. You don't want to talk to them? He ran away. I thought maybe he'd want to talk to you guys. Oh, Nathan wants to talk to you guys. Come on over, Nathan Douglas. Hello! Ooh, your brother is mad. Yeah, he's mad. Okay, wow. A duck. Wow. <laughs> Wait, what is that? A duck. Okay. okay. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah, is. What? This is a duck. Oh. Yeah. Uh, what color are you going to make the duck? Okay. Are you, are you sure that's not a penguin? It's a penguin, Ryan. <laughs> it's not. It's a penguin. <laughs> Got my steak going with my marinade of soy sauce, olive oil, and uh, hot sauce. You can also use sriracha for this. Um, I already seared my potatoes in olive oil and a little bit of butter and then I'll combine the two. I'm going to be using this, 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 and some of these because I forgot to buy garlic cloves. So I'm just going to use this. So I forgot to close the video out, which seems to be a really big problem of mine. Um, but today is Saturday. The video is ending here. I'm actually, um, going to pick up some coffee before I go into work so I don't have anything else exciting to film um I did want to show you guys my makeup really quick I did like a Valentine's Day inspired look and I'm super proud of it um but yeah, that's pretty much it going into work today I work tomorrow I work Monday and then I'm off Tuesday and Wednesday I work Thursday and then I'm off Friday Saturday and Sunday um, but thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.